Kalduni or Kolduni, Belarusian, Kalduni Polish, Kolduni, Lithuanian, Koldenai, used in plural only, are stuffed dumplings made of unleavened dough in Belarusian, Lithuanian, and Polish cuisines, akin to the Polish pierogi, Russian pelmeni and the Ukrainian vareniki. In Slavic languages the word means magicians or sorcerers, but it is unclear how the word became associated with the dish. The origin of Kalduni is uncertain, they may have originated with equal likelihood in the West, Germany or Czech lands, or in the East, brought by the Tatar Mongols across Siberia and the Urals. Description Kalduni, dumplings of unleavened dough filled with meat, mushrooms, or other stuffings, are related to similar dishes in the West and in the East alike, from Italian ravioli, Hungarian dorelli, and Ashkenazi Jewish pierogan to Russian pelmeni and Central Asian monti or chuchivara. Kalduni made with a stuffing of smoked ham and mushrooms, Kalduni Count Tishkovich, named after a Belarusian noble family from Lhasa near Minsk, were long considered Belarus's visiting card, although decades of Soviet rule almost erased their trace from public memory and now they are only served in a few local restaurants. Currently the Russian pelmeni and the Ukrainian vareniki are served in more restaurants. The simplest dough for Kalduni is made of flour mixed with tepid water, eggs, and some salt. In some recipes the dough for kalduni is mixed with onion juice, not water. Kalduni dough should be soft but elastic, easy to stretch and to seal into a pocket around a dollop of filling. Like other pastry doughs it has to be allowed to rest, covered with a dish towel or a cloth so as not to dry out. Kalduni are usually boiled in a big shallow casserole at low heat, in well-salted water. Instead of boiling in water, kalduni may be boiled directly in a soup, in which they are then served. Some varieties are baked or fried. Kalduni polzi style, with a stuffing of boiled river fish and hard-boiled eggs, are fried. A variety known in Russian cuisine is kundumi. Russian, kundumi is never boiled. The mushroom-filled dumplings are baked in a crock pot in the oven or fried. Kalduni may be served as a main course or a dessert, depending on the stuffing. For the former, meat, mushrooms, farmer cheese, or fish is used. For the latter, fresh berries or sometimes dried fruits may be used. The sauce or topping for kalduni also depends on the stuffing. Kalduni with Vilnius stuffing, mushrooms and smoked pork, as in kalduni Count Tishkovich, are topped with melted butter, while the Russian stuffing, farmer cheese or mashed potatoes, requires thick sour cream. Dessert kalduni are powdered with cinnamon or topped with fruit syrups. Kalduni are often served in a soup, beef broth or borscht, similarly to Jewish kreplok. The numerous combinations of dough, stuffing, and sauce provide a great potential for variation. Large kalduni monti, are prepared for the major Muslim feasts, which are celebrated by the Tatar population that has lived continuously in Belarus since the end of the 14th century. This variety of kalduni are made with spiced mutton or veal stuffing and are eaten by spoon, so that the dough wrapping doesn't tear and the juice from inside is not lost. Varieties of kalduni Kalduni come with a variety of fillings Meat, ground or chopped Mushrooms, fresh or dried Mushrooms and smoked pork, mixed in equal proportions Vilnius stuffing, Kalduni Count Tishkovich White rice and hard-boiled eggs Sautéed sauerkraut with mushrooms Fish, freshwater fish, such as pike or pike perch, boned and chopped, mixed with hard boiled or fried eggs. Bilberry, whole cherry, stoned. See also Coltanasi, a Romanian kind of dumplings. References External links Kalduni in Wiki Cookbook, Cuisine of Belarus Kalduni on Russian food site eda-server.ru, in Russian Step-by-step -step instructions for preparation of Kalduni, with detailed photographs, in Russian Shamanderska H. Encyclopedia Polskij S. Z. Tuki Kulinernej. RRA, Varsava, 2003 Barbara Holub, PRZY Wilenskom Stoll. Varsava, Shaka I Wiedsa, 1992.